Good morning, Lighthouse. It's day four. Uh, the title of today's devotion is Cultivating Spiritual Hunger. If you notice behind me that it's raining, uh, you and I both know that rain is crucial uh, in anything growing. We have to have rain. Just like in our own life, if we want to grow, we have to have uh, spiritual rain, if you will, in our life to produce things. Many of you are fasting with us, and you're doing that so that you can grow in certain areas of your life. In order to do that, we have kind of withdrawn from some things so that we can allow other things to grow. In Mark chapter 1, verses 12 through 13, the Scripture says that immediately the Spirit drove Jesus into the wilderness. And He was there in the wilderness for 40 days. And He was tempted by Satan and was with the wild beasts and the angels ministered to Him. There, during this time, this 21 days, that's exactly what we're doing. We're allowing the Spirit to bring us out of kind of our daily routine. Uh, I spent several years as a youth pastor, and I was always amazed uh, when we would take our kids to youth camp and mission trips. It was kind of really uh, kind of a mandatory fast that every one of them had to go on. They weren't allowed to take their cell phones, their iPods, their Walkmans, and all that stuff to camp with them. They weren't in their daily routine. Uh, they rode around all their normal friends. And so they really had to withdraw for a season in their life for two or three days while at camp. And during that time, it was always amazing to see how God could speak to them and, more importantly, how they could hear God's voice. It's hard sometimes to hear God's voice when all the distractions of life are going on. But if you will take the time, just like Jesus did here when he went into the wilderness, he withdrew from his friends, the disciples, the large crowds, his family, and he got alone with God. And during this time, I encourage you to, whatever you're fasting from, whether it's television, radio, uh, internet, Facebook, food, uh, coffee, uh, some of you are doing habits, some of you are using this time to uh, stop smoking, stop dipping, different things like that. When you withdraw, God is able to speak to you, and more importantly, you and I are able to hear. Uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 6 says this, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. My prayer today for you and for me in my life is that we shall be filled when we hunger and we thirst for the things of God. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.